Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy and today we're going to be taking a look at the Palomino HS2901. This camper is compatible on a three quarter ton or one ton truck with a six and a half or an eight foot bed. As we get started on the outside, you'll notice we have the cool gray, high gloss, gel coated fiberglass. This camper is all aluminum framed with the laminated sidewalls, which means it has a dense styrofoam insulation. We have the max bumper back here. So you can open this up. You will get some storage down below. Great place for sewer hoses and water hoses. We have the extra entrance step that folds down. Oversized grab handle to help you in and out of the camper. Friction hinge door, so you simply open it and leave it right where it is with the full size screen door as well. Integrated in the door is this blind so you can close that at nighttime for privacy. Power awning over the entrance door with the white LED light. Uh, really nice, especially at nighttime so you see what's going on. It does have legs that are tucked away in the back of the awning here. So with these brackets, you can run those legs back to the camper and adjust the pitch of the awning if you'd like to. Roof ladder for maintenance purposes, so you can maintain the caulk up there. We do have a porch light, and right above that with that black box, it is pre-wired for an observation camera. That camera would allow you to see behind you the entire time while you're traveling down the road and while you're backing up. Moving over to the side, we have your power uh, jacks. There's a remote that I'll show you on the inside that you can run all of these up at the same time or one individually. 30 pound LP tank bottle because this is a max series, which means it's also a four seasons camper and that will be filled by the Outpost RV. Right over here, we have your dump station. This is gonna be where the black and gray tank will come out all at the same area back here. And what I forgot to mention was your pull handles are actually right inside this back door here. So they are gonna be enclosed and heated as well. Outside shower with hot and cold water it comes with the coil hose sprayer there. 30 amp unit, it will come with a 25 foot detachable power cord. Two 110 outlets out here, cable satellite connection, also an on-demand water heater. So it is gonna be gas only since it's on-demand, but it's only using gas when you're actually running hot water. So about 60% more efficient than what we've used in the past and it does a great job. Here's your water fill. We have the city water on the right hand side. So if you're at a campground or your house, you simply hook your water hose up and that will pressurize the lines for you. On the left hand side is your, uh, excuse me, fresh water. So if you're gonna be dry camping or boondocking, you simply fill up your fresh water tank on board, turn on your water pump and use that water. As we move around to the front corner here, the camper will also come with a double-sided seven-way male cord. You simply plug it in right here. The cord is long enough, it'll run all the way back behind your truck and plug into the, the rear seven-way connection there. That will charge your batteries while you're traveling down the road and give power to the camper as well. So if you're gonna be stopped overnight or for a couple nights, I'd recommend unhooking this. You can hang it right here, so that way if your batteries die on the camper, it will not drain your truck batteries. We have a 12 volt cutoff switch with this red key. So if you turn that, that will kill all 12 volt power to the battery. So it, the, like the stereo carbon monoxide detector won't be taking power from the battery. Right here, we have a, it's a port that goes directly to the battery as well. So you can add a battery charger or a portable solar panel right here and hook that up as well. As we move around to the front side, you'll notice the sides have the deep tinted frameless windows, really sharp look. We have the fiberglass molded cap with the windshield, the line X on the side here for extra strength. Very large power awning uh, right here on the side as well. Each leg is adjustable. And as you can see, we have the legs going back to the camper on this side. We have outside speakers that light up blue. So you also have inside and outside speakers there. Refrigerator vent, furnace ventilation, and then if you have a short bed truck, you can actually close this side off for storage. If you have an eight foot bed, uh, that just stays open because the bed of your truck is gonna come all the way back to here. And that concludes our outside walkthrough of the Palomino HS2901. Now we'll take a look at the inside. As we move to the inside, you'll notice that it does have a full size entrance door here. Behind this carpeted panel is actually your holding tanks. They are heated and enclosed. So they're gonna be located directly behind that. Right here is the remote that you can use to run your jacks up and down. The yellow buttons will run them all at the same time and the white buttons will run them individually. On the left-hand side is a black switch. You simply uh, push up on that toggle switch and that will send power to the remote and allow you to run the jacks up and down uh, wirelessly as you're walking around. As we move to the inside, we have storage right over here to your right-hand side. 
as well as the double door, fridge and freezer combo. Lots of room there. And before we get all the way in, I really wanna point out something uh, really cool that Palomino just did. They made a running change on this 2901. You can see the extra brackets down below there. That will actually pull out and turn into another sleeping area here. So you'll take the table legs off, remove the table, and that will slide all the way out to where the table is and you get an extra sleeping area here. It is really neat, very easy to use, and, and it adds a lot to the camper. And you can see that with the pictures on our website. Window right above the dinette here. And there is still a little bit of storage underneath this seat here. Since it is the Max Series, they sit up a little bit higher. So if you were to pull that cushion up, uh, you got enough room there for a couple blankets or canned goods. In the bedroom area, we have a 60 by 80 queen mattress. You'll see the blind for the windshield up above. The Max Air vent. It is a high power vent fan. If you were to turn that on high and open up a window, you would really move a lot of air through the camper here. Storage. And I'm gonna open this up for you. As you can see, there is a hanging rod in here. Also, this bottom panel will pull up and you get extra storage down below. If you can see between the cleats here, uh, that is pretty much how much storage is right underneath that panel as well. Some foot locker storage off to the right. Windows on both sides of the bed. Extra storage up front as well. We have 110 and 12 volt charge ports on both sides of the bed as well as speakers. More storage over here. And again, another window on the other side of the bed. We have your entertainment center. This will come with the TV that is on a swivel mount bracket. So you can pull that out and either angle it towards the dinette or the bed. Stereo, which is AM FM, also Bluetooth compatible. And it is a DVD player as well. Right underneath that with more storage and that will also lift up. So you can put your CDs or DVDs down below. Moving into the kitchen area, we have storage up above with your microwave, range vent that will vent to the outside, kitchen window. We have a three burner stove top with this cover as well. And there is a look at the three burner stove. It does come equipped with an oven. There is storage underneath the oven and storage underneath the sink as well. Very large single bowl sink. It comes with this prep cover as well. Great for drying dishes. And you can see a very large single bowl sink there. Just to the left of the microwave, we have this very long pantry. And it can also double as a hanging closet if you'd like. You can see it has adjustable shelves here. So you could remove those. There are your seven way and power cord. Couple storage drawers right underneath that. And then at the bottom we have your breakers and fuses. Down here with the green light is gonna be your carbon monoxide detector. Up above that we have your on-demand water heater with the red button. So you can turn that on and off and adjust the temperature. We have your thermostat for your furnace on the right hand side. Up top with your main control panel for your lights, your tank heaters, those are 12 volt heating pads on the holding tanks. Water pump, uh, your lights on the awning, porch lights. The top left, the convenience center is to see how full or empty your tanks are and see how full your battery is as well. The toggle switches at the bottom there are to run your awnings in and out. Here's a better look at the refrigerator. We do have more storage in the back there, and I will try to open that, that door up top there once we move to the back. Furnace underneath the refrigerator, and your refrigerator is gas and electric. And here's a look inside this back storage compartment. We have these two shelves here, and this one goes way back. Lots of storage in the back here. And last but not least, as you walk in, this will be on your left-hand side. You can see this is on a sliding door. This will be the bathroom area. 
And up top, we're going to have a vent that also has the white light around it there. Skylight up top. Medicine cabinet. We have the curtain that'll pull straight across if you're going to be showering. And then down below with the sink area, a ton of counter space in here. We do have a 110 outlet underneath here. And then some dry storage for your toiletries. The toilet. And then the black mat can be removed so that way if someone just got done showering, you could put that back in to keep your feet dry. There's also a second curtain that pulls uh, right across this door here to keep the water from coming out as well. And right there will be the shower head. You can see we have the AC, which is roof mounted. And then we also have a couple inside speakers to your left hand side on the ceiling and on the right hand side. Those, so you got four speakers inside as well as the two outside. And that will conclude our walkthrough of the Palomino HS2901. I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.